It is Seahawks Today, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. So glad to have you with us as we get you ready for your Seattle Seahawks taking on the Los Angeles Rams. And on this video, we'll give you a preview of this matchup. Also, keys to victory, the injury report, my official prediction, all of that and more in just a matter of moments. Before we do, if you want to beat the LA Rams, here's what I need you to do. I need you to like today's video. I have been told that if you like today's video, the Seahawks' chances of winning on Sunday will only go up. And so don't be the guy. Don't be the reason why that the Seahawks lost because you didn't like the video. I heard the reason why the Seahawks lost last week against the Raiders was because we didn't have enough people like our game preview video. So don't risk it this time. Go ahead and like today's video if you want the Seahawks to beat the Rams. Seattle and Los Angeles, and this game is pretty fascinating. Uh, kind of an underrated matchup here, I think personally, because of the storyline that goes along with this game. The homecoming, the return of Bobby Wagner to Seattle. We already saw one homecoming this year, and that was when Russell Wilson came back to Seattle week one, and he was met with several boos. Uh, in that game, right? And the Seahawks ultimately came out on top. What's interesting about this Bobby Wagner thing is that he did not choose to leave. He was caught by Seattle. But he did choose to go to the Seahawks division rival, the reigning Super Bowl champs in the L.A. Rams here. So although the Rams are struggling and the injuries have certainly stacked up for this team, Matt Stafford, Aaron Dalton, Cooper Cup, Allen Robinson, Joseph Noteboom, Asan Robinson, who all make a, a lot of money. And all those guys look like they're not going to play here. Even with that said, what looks like an easy win for the Seahawks is still going to be very interesting just to see Bobby Wagner back in the building and what this game will go with Bobby coming back. So with that, who you got? You going with the Seahawks or are you going with the Rams? Be honest with me. Give me your prediction for how this game will ultimately play out. If you're going with the Seahawks, type C for Seattle. If you're going with the Rams, type LAR for the Los Angeles Rams. Chime in in the comments section. Give me your official prediction. Who wins this game? C for Seattle, LAR for the Rams. Will he play for the Seahawks? The notable name to watch for is Ryan Neal, the safety. Pete Carroll said a couple days ago he expects – Ryan Neal to be fine for Sunday's game against the Rams, but the Seahawks did just make a move for Jonathan Abram, previously of the Packers and the Raiders. So makes you wonder, was this a cautionary measure here? What amount of Ryan Neal are we ultimately going to see on Sunday? That'll be something to monitor. Meanwhile, coming off IR in the pup list, Daryl Johnson, Isaiah Dunn, Tyler Ott, Alton Robinson, and John Radigan, we will continue to follow their statuses. And uh, unlikely that any of those guys play, but if something changes, we will let you know. So with that said, let's go ahead and get to my keys to victory. What's it going to take for the Seahawks to get it done against Los Angeles? Let's dive into it. First off, the Seahawks need to establish the run. The run game for this Seahawks team has been awful. It's been atrocious the last two weeks. And, I mean, there was so much good going on with this group to begin 2022 when Kenneth Walker was there alongside Rashad Penny. Penny goes down, and then Kenneth Walker just stepped up, and he was ready for his moment. But the last two weeks have left a lot to be desired. As a team, they only rushed for 65 yards against Las Vegas and only 39 yards against Tampa Bay. And then Kenneth Walker in those games – had 26 yards against Las Vegas with two touchdown scores and only 17 yards against Tampa Bay. So, obviously, there's room for improvement. I don't think this even falls on Kenneth Walker for the most part. He's not blameless. I did see him running backwards on his own last week. But, with that said, the offensive line has to do a better job, and this run game needs to get going. In that win streak, the Seahawks were on when they won, what was it, four or five in a row? They ran the ball well in every single game they won. Got to establish the run. Got to get Kenneth Walker going early. So with that, you tell me, 
Will Kenneth Walker have a bounce back game this week? If you think he will, type Y for yes. If not, be honest with me. If you don't think it's going to happen, type in for no. Let me know in the comment section below. Y for yes, in for no, if Kenneth Walker will have a bounce back game this week. Next on the keys to victory, Bryce Perkins likely getting the start for the Rams with Matt Stafford dealing with concussion-like symptoms. And Bryce Perkins, now to his credit, just even making it this far, being an undrafted quarterback out of Virginia's accomplishment in his own right. But with that said, from what we've seen, he hasn't been good. A completion percentage less than 56%, two interceptions, a touchdown and only 161 yards. Bryce Perkins has not been very good. And if you're this Seahawks team, I take my chances on letting Bryce Perkins just just swing it around and, and see what happens personally. Um, I am not scared at all of Bryce Perkins. And I think what you do is you load the box, you shut down the run game, and make Bryce per- Perkins beat you. If you do that, I think you're in pretty good shape. I don't think Bryce Perkins is going to have this miraculous day of some sorts off the bench. I'll take my chances with that. I'd go after Bryce Perkins and let him kind of do his thing and see what happens. Got a great deal we're offering Seahawks fans here on Seahawks Today. You can get hoodies and sweatshirts up to 50, that's right, 50% off at chatsports.com slash C hoodies. And whether you're a guy or a girl, uh, I can tell you, it's uh, it's cuffing season, right? And we all want to stay warm and and uh, be feeling good, right? Well, the Seahawks uh, have some great attire here for you. And if you want to look warm, if uh, you want to be styling, might as well be representing your favorite team here in the uh, winter months. Get yours now, right in time for the holidays as well, at chatsports.com slash hoodies. Get yours today, chatsports.com slash hoodies. So with that, not only making Bryce Perkins beat you, I think it's important for the Seahawks to stop the run. Listen to this. It is well documented that the Seahawks were awful last week in stopping Josh Jacobs and the Las Vegas Raiders in the run game, but it's been a problem for two straight weeks, folks. Here's your stat. The last two games, the Seahawks have given up a grand total of 400 in 44 rushing yards in two games. That's unacceptable. That's ridiculous. 444 yards in two games? I mean, I wish the offense was able to rush for that right now. (laughs) Um, But that is going to be so key, stopping the run. They are dependent on that run game. Uh, Cam Akers, who looked like he was going to get traded a few weeks ago, is leading the way. Daryl Henderson, obviously, is out there now. Got to stop that run and and uh, get that right away. Get those three and outs going. Fill in the blank. The Seahawks MVP against the Rams will be who? Let me know in the comments section. Is it going to be Geno? Is it going to be Jordan Brooks? Tariq Wolin? DK? Tyler Lockett? Give me one name. Who will be the MVP for the Seahawks against the Los Angeles Rams? Let me know in the comment section below. And be sure to join our watch party coming up on Sunday. We'll get started about 30 minutes prior to kickoff, about 3.30 Eastern time. Kickoff about 4.05 Eastern, 105 out west for the Seahawks and the Los Angeles Rams. The homecoming of Bobby Wagner. It is going to be a dandy, folks. You'll want to be here. We'll do a little pregame, react to the game in real time, have a few drinks on hand, too, a little postgame show as well. Be here or be square. You won't want to miss it. Seahawks and Rams right here on Seahawks Today. All right, a few more here for you. And if you know me, you know one of the things I love to point to offensively is going all gas, no breaks, right? I think uh, that was something coined by uh, Steve Sarkeesian a while back, but it's something I've believed in for a long time. And this Rams offense, remember they were so good a year ago, what they were able to do with Matt Stafford and – uh, the weapons that they had on that team, offensively, they were just so dynamic. But this year, far from it. The Rams have not scored over 20 points in the last five games. I haven't said this very often about this Seahawks team, but this week is an exception. I'm not afraid of a shootout. I'm not afraid of 
trying to score fast and you know just lighten it up, running no huddle all day. As far as I'm concerned, the Seahawks could go, you know, 60 minutes of hell on this Rams team and you know just light it up all day long. Sure, the defense might be on the field longer, but I'll take my chances. I think you can, uh, you know, just just wear them out and go fast pace and put up points, and the Rams aren't going to hang with you. I'd go all gas, no breaks, personally. Last, but certainly not least, and that is winning the turnover battle. Now, I know this much. The Seahawks have actually done a pretty good job when it comes to winning the turnover battle, but for me, this more so points to the Rams and the Rams' struggles when it comes to the turnover margin. Get this. The Rams are 29th in the league in turnover margin per game. Giveaways, they're near the bottom at 28th. Takeaways, 29th. And interceptions thrown, they're averaging almost three interceptions thrown a game. So with that said, yes, the Seahawks have done a pretty decent job, even in their losses of taking care of the football. But this is more so about taking advantage on the Rams and forcing turnovers that way, as far as I'm concerned. So to recap, keys to victory. That was the run. Please, please get the run game going. I beg of you. Make Bryce Perkins beat you. I'll take my chances. I mean, he's not that good. Let's be honest. Got to stop the run. Have to. All gas, no breaks. Turning his shootout for, for all I care. The Rams aren't going to be able to hang with you. They don't have the offense for it. And win the turnover battle. The Rams are very uh, turnover prone. Seahawks do a pretty good job taking care of the football, but take advantage of that weakness from L.A. Before we go, crystal ball time. Get those crystal balls out and predict the score of the Seahawks-Rams game. What will it be? How much will the Seahawks win by? I already know you're picking Seattle, but by how much? Let me know in the comments section how you think this game is going to go. My pick, I think this is ugly. This is the bounce-back game the Seattle Seahawks need and need badly. I know it's kind of hard to make a statement when you play a bad team, but I do think they send a message of some sorts that they're back after the last two weeks, the way things have gone. I like the Seahawks 34-13. As always, you can follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, at Tyler Jones Live. We'll see you next time here on Seahawks Today. 